tightest tolerances for the runout will be at the back where it touches the hub of the car, and then standard minimum just fits the back. Okay, so we've got that on the machine. And the most ideal way to measure is going to be on the four bead seat, so straight on and to the sides where the tires would touch on the beads. So we just magnetically put this on the machine. graduations between 0 and 10 would be 10 thousandths. So right now it's sitting on 10. We can zero it out just for fun. Approximately is close enough. And you can see as we spin the wheel that this wheel is specking out at about 4 thousandths max run out. You can just pan out so you can see the whole. Yeah, okay, you can see the wheel spin. So you can see the wheel spinning and the needle making only about 4 thousandths run out. Now, in the industry, 15 thousandths will not vibrate on the car, so we're way under spec. So this wheel is easily in spec, and there's no argument at that point with a dial indicator measured to the thousandth of an inch. Alright, Chinoo, so I, it took a little doing, but as you can see, I reset the magnetic indicator to, to, to read on the bead seat here. And if we swing this again, you can see that the runout on this one is only about 3 thousandths. Total runout. Very, very tight spec, so we're in great shape on these wheels.